Here's what I got my children for Christmas, teacher edition. So everything is going to be somewhat educational. But first I'm going to start out with these two guys because they're from a couple Christmases ago. And so I know if my children are watching this, they'll say, we already got this. So stop watching now if you're my children. Otherwise, keep watching. These things are super cute. I'll put these under the category of social emotional <laughs> learning. They are from FAO Swartz and I got these at Target a couple years ago, but you can also find them on the FAO website. If you want, you can also find them in store in Target. I know a lot of you aren't doing Target. Okay, but if you are, you can find them in store in Target. These are the bigger sizes. I think they're 22 inches. I don't know, you'll see them. They're just big enough to be huggable. This one is a something doodle, and this one is, I think, a golden retriever or a lab or something. So for kids who loved stuffed animals, these guys are a good choice. They can carry them like around the world. They're very carryable, see? Highly recommend. And then even before I did this video, I went just to check the reviews, just to double check really high reviews it makes sense because they're just so huggable so lovable we know a lot of kids like stuffed animals so this is a good choice comfort animal okay guys next thing make sure that your kids are not watching they're going to be so excited when they see this and if you're seeing this video today the day that i'm posting it you're very lucky because you can still order this today and have it by christmas it's the mark rober Crunch Labs box. If your children are on YouTube at all, if they watch YouTube, if they watch YouTube shorts, or I don't know what else they could be on. I think he's on Instagram and TikTok too. But if your kids watch YouTube, don't lie. I know a lot of your kids watch YouTube. Then they've heard of Mark Rober and they will go ecstatic over these engineering kits. Okay, so they gifted this to me because I am an affiliate of, the, of theirs, but kids are going to be so excited and guess what I'm going to continue the subscription going out of my own money so definitely sign your kids up for that I, this one is their creative kit I have not reviewed it yet engineering kit amazing it comes with like a QR code so that there's a video so children can actually do the kit with him which a lot of videos a lot of kids don't have an actual video where someone is doing it with them so a plus for that this is their new thing. It's a creative kit. I guess it's art, but I'm sure that there's engineering in here as well. So I don't know if this is supposed to be for younger kids. I don't know, but you can check. Whatever Crunch Labs you get them, they will be so excited. So order it today. I do think you have to order like a six month subscription. Maybe you can order month by month. I'm not totally 100% sure. Now, if you can't afford for the crunch labs because I do think you have to get six months at a time go for Mel science specifically Mel science Mel medicine or Mel science chemistry those kids the kids absolutely love I have one of their kids here this is just the, the I don't know the regular Mel science science the projectile cannon for like younger kids ages five plus so it's very fun as well. I'm also one of their affiliates. So if you don't want to do, like if you just want to try out one month, I would say go with this. But anyway, a lot of kids know about Mel Science, so they'll be super excited. But a lot of kids know about Mark Rober and they're going to be like, Crunch Labs, oh my gosh, thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Thank you, grandpa. Thank you, auntie. So if you can, order them that. And it's a gift that keeps on giving because throughout the year, they'll continue to get a box every single month. They'll thank you for that. Now, writing, language arts, look at this. This is a creative writing book. So I got my girls another version of this Usborne book, another Usborne, it wasn't creative writing, it was, I don't know, something else. It looks similar to this and they loved it. That was a few years ago. And so I guess this is something new that they've published, but look, it is a guided writing book, but almost like a journal. It's not really a journal, look. So there are pages that they can fill in. And you know, sometimes when kids get just a blank journal, they don't have anything to write, right? So it's harder for them to start. Get them this, and it's very guided. Like, 
Do you know your name? <laughs> Put your name here, your age, your height. And then you're slowly thinking about, okay, what's your greatest strength? What's your greatest weakness? Kids love stuff like that. But what it's going to do, it's going to teach them creative writing without them really even realizing that they're learning because it's so much fun. So look at how they do um, like building a character. Isn't that cute? Tell me that's not cute. That is really a cute way for them to do it. A character questionnaire. So that's the planning part of their writing. And then they teach them a little bit. This says bringing characters to life. They tell them, okay, you have some speech. What do they look like? What are their relationships? And then you pick one of these characters and then you start by just a small, little, small little writing practice there. And then remember that writing isn't just about the physical words. Here, they're making a map. Isn't that really cool? So just keep going and you'll see, okay. Story outline, beginning, middle, end. Okay. They have comic books in here that they can fill out. It's They've got a lot of stuff in here. And so if you want your child to actually do it, now if you have a child who's already a writer, you don't have to do anything but give them this book. Um, but if you have a child who is hesitant about writing or who, do you feel this, this whole house shaking? There's construction going on like a couple miles from here and randomly the house will just shake. It's so weird. But anyway, if you have a child who is you know, semi into writing or who's not the biggest writing enthusiast, just tell them to do one or two pages and actually look at their work. Tell them, hey, let, let me know what you wrote in your journal. Can I hear that story that you were working on? Don't just give it to them and then expect them to do it all by themselves. And then towards the end, there are longer and longer sections for them to write entire stories. Very fun. What age range? I would say depending on how well your child can write second grade if they're a strong writer, um, but really maybe third through eighth grade. Okay. So this is something else that I got my children, or actually someone else got it from their list either a year or two ago. I, I want to say a year. This is for art education because we know that the arts are important as well. Remember back in the day where we used to get those kits that had like a little bit of every piece of art in it, but they were also kind of low quality and so they ran out. Don't do that. Instead, do this. Okay, this is 150 premium colored pencils and it was not that cheap here let me open it up i mean i'm sorry i said it was not that cheap it was not that expensive compared to the other there's that other really nice brand out there but look at this these are high quality i spent a long time researching these okay and look how they come like this do you see how all the colors are still in here I gifted this to my daughter because I wanted her to continue to color and and create art, but she wasn't really always putting her art supplies back. And I just know that she likes organizing, just not cleaning. So I knew if I would get her something like this, look at this, almost, almost all of them are in here. So many different colors, they cannot run out. There's no excuse to say, I can't color my page. Oh. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, and so anyway, it goes on down from there to probably like the yellows, the browns, I don't know, whatever else in there. But these also don't break, so it's been awesome. And the kids use them a lot. So I would recommend, you can get one per family. I would recommend one per child though. Oh, you know what I did? I got them different, I got them different brands because I was thinking I don't want to get two of these exact same things because then the problem comes, whose is this, whose is that, who left theirs on the floor, who's broke, etc. So I looked at, I got this brand and then I looked into getting another brand for my other daughter. I don't know if I actually got it for her, but if not, I'll get it this Christmas. Something your kids will really, really love. Guess what it is? You'll never guess unless you already know. So this is for coding. It's a coding robot 
This is Spiro's Bolt Plus coding robot. Let's unbox him. Let's unbox it. We should say it. Okay. These are probably instructions and things like this. And here it is. It's very simple. It's a very simple, but profound. <laughs> ah, so this is actually a real, okay, hey, focus, focus here. This is a real programming coding robot. And I have another one that I posted a video about on Instagram too that's really cool, especially for younger kids. The other one that I posted, this Bolt Plus is good for children, I would say third through eighth grade, okay? You can also do this with second graders as well, but there are just some other ones that are more geared towards younger children. And so they need a device, either a phone or a tablet, and they learn programming through it. It's so cool. I've wanted this for so long. I've used these since I taught third grade 15 years ago. And so obviously this is the latest, newest model. And it sits on its little stand. Okay, so if you want your children to learn programming and coding in a very fun way, go with this. This is real. It's not like those little Fisher Price toys that say that they're they teach kids coding. No offense to them, but this is the real deal. Your kids will really like this. They may not know what it is and that's okay. You are going to show them. So I'm going to link everything in on Amazon or wherever I can down at the bottom and they'll have my, they will be affiliate links. So order them from my links if possible. I think you can, I know you can get the Spiro, the Bolt in stores. I don't know if the Bolt Plus is in stores, but maybe it is. If so, I'll link it down below. Final thing I'm going to show you for right now is for their physical education. Actually, this might not be the final thing, but this is what I got my girls this year. A gym bag. Oh, why did I just say that so well? I have a purple one and I have a pink one. And these are from Timu because I'm doing a sponsorship with Timu. So I just said, okay, I'll just get some bags because I had some extra money left over after I bought the stuff that I was supposed to buy for the video. I don't, I've never shopped on Timu before. I'm not a big like Timu or Amazon really shopper. You know, I like to shop small, but it is what it is. It's a sports bag and it can carry their basketball, their swimsuits. It has different compartments for wet and dry um, and their tennis shoes. So they can switch from their like winter boots into their tennis shoes. Sorry, my dog is here. He decides to play right here right now. So that's what I got for their physical education and physical health. Now I'm not showing you any books in this video, but I will do a whole separate video on the books that I'm getting them for Christmas and Kwanzaa. Okay. But what I did want to do is I wanted to tell you guys some of the things that I've gotten in previous years that have been really big hits for my 15, 20, I don't know how many nieces, nephews, <laughs> and children that have still lasted to this day. So I'll be very quick. Where's my cell phone? Hold on. Hold on. I'm not editing this video, so you're gonna have to hold on. This is how I get stuff done, guys. <laughs> just, we're putting it up just like this, just like it, it were a live video. So I don't have everything on this list. Oh, earbuds. So my youngest daughter is nine. She wants earbuds. So I'm just gonna get them both a pair of earbuds. I think that's reasonable because we had Walkmans at around this age. So they want to walk around listening to music. They also, when we go to the gym, they like to get on the treadmill and the bike machine. So that would be something fun. They'll really appreciate that. One thing that I did get so I like to do group pre group presents sometimes. So just give everyone the same thing. And so one of those things was a book light. I'm going to link the specific book light that I got here because I've gone through so many book lights. I feel like I've wasted a lot of money until I finally found one that the kids have used consistently for the past year and they have not lost. And so this particular book light is very sturdy. It also has a rechargeable battery. 
unlike some other ones. So this one you just plug it in and it's a strong enough book light that they also use it for other things like just generally looking around and it has a little clip on it. So it's a multifunctional tool and that's why I recommend that specific one as opposed to the many other ones that I've gotten them over the years. Okay, another thing that I've gotten the little or kids um, so the book light is for all ages, but one thing that I got when they were smaller was pa uh, pouches, little cute pouches that I'm sure are still on Amazon, so I will link them. And one year I got all the cousins little pouches that go around them. I know I keep repeating pouches, but I'm trying to think of other ways. Oh, they have animal designs on them. They're super cute, and they're just things that, you know, kids always like to carry stuff around. So for that age range, which was around three to seven or eight yeah three to eight they loved those pouches and they carried them around everywhere when we went biking when we went on road trips when we went hiking so those are a really great gift and also that same year or i think the next year they all got walkie talkies that's just like if you have uh, kids and you haven't gotten them walkie talkies that's something that you could do that they will definitely love oh for the also that year someone else got the adult or older people pouches what are those little pouches called what are, oh fanny packs <laughs> and but like modern fanny packs which are really just fanny packs but maybe look a little bit more elegant but really good for people who like to walk or for busy moms busy dads who just want to carry their stuff around without and still be hands-free particularly if you have someone who has young children who is always out and about really great gift um stanley cup i got a stanley cup for christmas either last year or the year before last year and i was not in with the whole hype i was like this is so ridiculous why is everyone doing this and i still don't think you need multiple stanley cups if you do no judgment okay we all like our what we like but i actually think it was a really great gift last year when my sister just gave everyone a stanley cup slash water bottle so the bigger people got stanley cups the little people got little kid version of water bottles and i've been drinking a lot more water since then i carry it everywhere and i love the color oh and the last thing before oh i have one minute left we generally get them little gift cards so like five dollar gift cards every single year so whether it's something generally like target or walmart or the dollar store or um a starbucks because or barnes and noble so we can go out and they can have their little five dollars to spend they like it so anyway hope this has been helpful check out all the links in the description box below bye bye merry christmas